What's going on YouTube? Why can ye the great here with another edited video. Today, we're going to be chatting about the beginner's guide to mods. Now, I know a lot of you new lights out there are going to really appreciate this information, but maybe we can even help a couple of vets out. I know a couple of vets out there that really don't even pay attention too much to mods, but they will make your playstyle night and day different. Let's go ahead and jump in right now and explain a couple of little things. All right, guys. So first off, we're going to go over what these numbers right here mean. Now, a lot of you might know what these mean, but if you don't, we're going to go over those right now. The top one right here, this is mobility. Now, this is going to determine your walk speed, your initial jump height, not your second or third jump, and not your sprint. But mobility is tied to the hunter class ability. It's dodge. The titan, however, is tied to resilience. This is resilience right here. This determines how much health you have. The higher this goes, the higher health you have. Now this is recovery, probably the most important, not probably, it is the most important stat to get as high as possible. You want this to be at 100 at all costs, and this determines how quickly you get your health back. Now, of course, this one right here, it's a grenade, that's your discipline. The higher that is, the quicker you get your grenades back. This little thing right here, that's your super, your intellect. That's how fast you get your super back. As you see right here, we're at tier eight, and my super ability cooldown is at six minutes and zero three seconds. That means that if I don't kill any guardians or take any damage, my super will come in at six minutes. Now, the last one here is strength. This, of course, the higher you get this, the more you can use your melee. Okay, strength is melee. Now, one more little tip is it only goes by increments of 10. So, uh, and it stops at 100. I can't go to one. 110 mobility that won't help me if i go to 99 it's not 100 if i go to 95 it's not 100 if i go to 91 it's still 90 now if i go to 89 it's not 90 it's in the 80s you see what i mean it has to be by increments of 10 this one right here it's 100 this one is 30 this one is 80 this one is 50 the second it goes to 60 it would be then a six. All right, so now that we've explained these numbers, I wanna go in and look at these mods. This is a beginner's guide. There's going to be different mods coming for Witch Queen, and there is so much build crafting and synergy with all these mods that it would take too much time to go over it in one video, and also we'd have to do another one when all the new mods come out. So we're gonna do an advanced guide once Witch Queen drops. But for right now, we're going to show you guys how to boost your stats. So we're going to ignore this bar for right now. What this is, you can infuse higher power gear into your current item to bring up your power level. I highly suggest don't do that right now. Witch Queen is going to bring everyone to 1350. This box right here is what we're going to be looking at today. These two we can ignore today and then this last one we can ignore but trust me as you can see there is a lot of options you know this one right here gain bonus super energy on melee kills we could even put uh dexterity i mean uh targeting mods my apologies these targeting mods will help you uh basically the gun will be stickier so you can hit crits and headshots much easier but let's concentrate on this this right here gives us abilities to add to our stats so we have a discipline mod plus five we have a discipline mod plus ten we have a strength mod plus five plus ten now the reason that we have a plus five right see if i put a plus ten here on strength that's going to be a 67 which again doesn't matter why don't we do a plus five and then now that's going to be a 62 right so that brings it up now why would you want to do that well as you see up here in your energy you have a certain number again i don't really suggest as you see here i can apply it'll cost me an enhancement prism legendary shards and glimmer to increase this energy when you're just starting out and you're a new light i would try and keep this around five and under 
um, really don't go beyond five energy. And then you want to save as many of these. You see how this is cost one energy? I could right now I have three energy right there. We could move that down to one energy, and it opens up two more slots. And then I can put another thing here. But like I said, you're gonna have to go through and play. So now that brought my mobility up to 100. But if I took that away, we'd be at 90. And then we could put it towards mobility, resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, or strength on any of these armor mods, okay? So literally this box right here on any of your armor pieces, and it's gonna cost anywhere between one to five energy. Uh, as you see, this intellect mod costs five energy to put plus 10 intellect. This one costs two to put five intellect. This costs three, this costs one. As you can see, recovery costs four uh, to do a plus 10. But for this box right here on all armor pieces, you can add these and it will boost your stats to get these numbers right here up and running, getting your cooldown lower and being able to use your abilities quicker. Now, one more thing I wanna talk about is weapon mods. This is pretty easy. You get these from Banshee up at the tower, but basically you can, on every purple weapon, legendary weapon, not exotics, you can put a mod on. So this one is quick access sling, increases this weapon's ready and stow speed. We have counterbalance stock, reduces recoil deviation for this weapon. We have hip fire, we have backup mag, we have full auto. Uh, we have a target adjuster to make it more sticky. We have mods to do more damage to bosses and vehicles. As you can see, there is a lot of mods that you can add. Uh, you even have a Icarus over here to give you more accuracy while you're in the air. But yes, you could put this on any purple weapon. You know, down here we can add one. And you can get these from Banshee. And Banshee sells different weapon mods every day. Now... One other little tip before I end this beginner's guide is we're here at, with Ada at the tower. Now, every single day, she's going to be selling a armor mod. Well, two armor mods. So today, she's selling special finisher. Finishers generate special ammo for the whole fire team. We're going to grab Very that. Well. And then this one, become charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple enemies near a war mine cell using weapons or abilities. I'm going to skip that one. But if you see anything that you don't own for your armor mods, go ahead and grab that because she sells different armor mods every single day. So if you miss it, you might have to wait months and months before you get, let's say you rock a bow and you want to put a, you know, unflinching mod on your chest. Well, she might sell it one day, then you can grab it for the materials required. Again, you can get those materials from Banshee and completing his bounties. And again, we're not really going over this, but you can read these and figure it out a little bit, but Witch Queen is gonna be changing up a lot of things like how we create orbs, and I don't wanna overwhelm all the new lights out there right now, but yes, there is a lot of build crafting. In fact, this one, Radiant Light, that mod gives me plus 20 strength powerful friends that gives me plus 20 mobility and right here this last mod at the end here but again this is how deep we can do build crafting there is so many things this become charged with light by picking up orbs of power that's going to be all gone over in the next video how to become charged with light how to increase the damage uh how to get more uh uh, quicker with your reload speeds, how to pick up ammo. Uh, you know, again, just a real quick one, scavenger mods on your legs is how you pick up more ammo. So you have to match that energy type with the weapon. So if you have a shotgun on, you want to put a shotgun scavenger on. If you have a special sidearm like the new Magnum, you want to have the scavenger for sidearms. You want to match whatever special weapon you have. And it's only for special because primary has unlimited ammo. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for the beginner's guide today. So much more to go over, but I think that's enough to bite off today. Really, to take away, put some mods on your weapons. 
Test those out, see which one you like best, and get these stats as high as possible, especially recovery. But if you're a hunter, you wanna get the mobility as high as possible. If you're a titan, you wanna get that resilience as high as possible. And if you're a warlock, you wanna get that recovery as high as possible. Warlock does give a lot of freedom to that. But yes, guys, uh, hit the like button, sub button, join button, and notifications on. Always, we live stream every single night. We're gonna be doing Witch Queen prep before Witch Queen. And of course, we're gonna be doing a advanced mod guide once Witch Queen drops on how to get charged with light, how to deal more damage, how to get your weapons to reload faster, all that, and build crafting, and more to come on the White Kanye the Great channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.